You know, in the end, Gates' sister wasn't that bad. Does that mean we have to invite her to the wedding? Yeah, what about that? Our lists. Yeah, but we can't have that many people coming. Agreed. So what do we do? I think we have to decide why we're actually having this wedding. I mean, are we doing this not to insult hundreds of people, or are we doing this for us? Well, for us. Well, then why don't we just take a minute and write down the names of all the people that absolutely, positively have to be there, no matter what, to make us happy? One minute. Yeah. There's not much time. What if we forget someone? Then they shouldn't have been invited in the first place. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yep. One minute and go. Of course, I'm going to have to invite my mother and Alexis. Yeah, and my dad and Aunt Teresa. Right. Espo and Ryan will bring Jenny. Mm -hmm. Lainey. Lainey. I'm going to have to invite the poker group. Yeah, Maddie. Gates. Ooh, and Gates' family. You stopped writing. So did you. <laughs> There's only one person on the planet that can get you this pissed off. She's going to get herself killed. She's a grown woman. She's a homicide detective, for God's sakes. It's her job. It's her life. If anything happens to her it... go on I... oh richard richard a man who makes his living with words you sure have a hell of a time finding them when it counts darling let me give you a word of advice all right I'm someone who's better than halfway through the movie don't waste another minute of it <laughs> Run, Rebel. But you'll never defeat the forces of Voltar. Get to the Voltar! Get to the Voltar! I sense fear in you. <laughs> you sense nothing. Sounds like a great offer. Yeah, it is. Your mom would be proud. Hell, I'm proud. So... What are you going to do? I don't know, Dad. It's like I'm standing at a crossroads and I have to choose between two possible futures. Why do you think you have to choose? Because, Dad, he's right. If I take this job, then there's not going to be time for anyone else. And then if I don't... It'll be because of him. And you'll end up resenting him for it. Or worse. Dad, I don't know what we have. I don't know if it's real. It's like we've been doing this dance for the past five years, and... I mean, what happens when the music stops? What if all we were in love with was the dance? You know, your whole life, you've never had a relationship go this far. You know, somewhere around here, you always end them. Now, why is that? Well, Katie, I know you. When you get scared, you hide in your work. And I just want you to be sure, whatever decision you make, it's because it's what you want. Not because you're afraid. This job... It's what I want. Then tell him. <sighs> He's gonna hate me, Dad. That's something you'll have to live with. What is that? The rifle that shot you. You are way out of line. Just look at it. No, what the hell are you doing? I've been where you are. I know what you're going through. Javi, I'm fine. You're not fine. You're just trying to act like you are. This is just a tool. It's a hunk of steel. It has no magical powers. And the person that fired it is not some all-powerful god. It's just a guy with a gun. Just like the guy we're hunting now. And like every other bad guy, he 
He's damaged goods. So am I. That's right. And that's okay. You think it's a weakness? Make it a strength. It's a part of you. So use it. It's okay. No. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, Kevin. And I want you to know that I trust you and I love you. I'm sorry. No, I... No, I'm the one who's sorry. Because I lied to you. But I'm gonna set the record straight right now because you deserve the truth. So wait here just one second. What is he doing? Shh. I didn't play darts with Javier last night. I went to go see your parents because I had a question for them. Jennifer, Scout, Duffy O'Malley, will you make me the happiest guy in the world and marry me? Oh my God. Y yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That was big. Oh, and intimate. What'd you find? Once I turned her over, I saw these abrasions across her upper back. They were definitely made before she died, probably during the struggle. Any idea what made them? No, but there's an odd shape to the wounds. I'll have a better idea once I get her back to the lab. Okay. So how's everything going in the bridal suite? Not the day they had planned. Yeah, or the surprise guest. Apparently Castle has a history with the bride. Ancient, modern, or sexual? Seems like all of the above. You okay with that? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Just keep me posted on the labs. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. You called? Yes. I found traces of metal in the abrasions on Sophie's back. What kind of metal? I have no idea, but I sent a sample over to the FBI lab to see if they can narrow down the chemical signature. We should have the results tomorrow. If I find the object that made the wounds, you'll be able to match it? Absolutely. Great. Anything else? You tell me. What? Don't what me. Castle's lost love. Yeah, what about it? Girl, I'm gonna smack you. You work side by side every day. He writes a sex scene in his book about you that had me reaching for ice water. Now Little Miss Bride shows up. Don't tell me you're not the least bit jealous. Oh, please. You've been inhaling too many autopsy fluids. Honey, just because you can't see what's going on doesn't mean everyone else doesn't see what's going on. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Big cheese. Ricky! Ricky! Hey! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you are going to be at this shindig? I would have given you a ride. Uh, last minute thing. Listen, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to present to you Detective Kate Beckett. Kate Beckett? You know the mayor? So this is Detective Beckett. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Oh, please. Call me Bob. <laughs> Rick, she's even prettier than you said. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me a minute. Of course. You talk about me to Bob? Well, we play cards together. All that and you are the subject of my next book. Huh. Can I get you a drink? Yeah, vodka. Lots of vodka. But I'm on duty, so water? Yeah. Castle, I'm kind of glad that you killed off Storm. Less competition. Mm. It's 20 to you, Cattle. You're bluffing, Patterson. Cough up some of that TV money and you'll find out. Ah, best to you, Ricky. Castle. Castle. Hmm? Best to you. Oh, sorry. 
I know that look. Story trouble. You know, you never should have killed off Storm. That was a big mistake. I, I would have retired him. <laughs> or crippled him. I mean, the man was money. You don't see me putting a bullet through Alex Cross's head. Gentlemen, this is the new guy? Alex Conrad, Michael Connolly, Dennis Lane. It's really awesome to meet you guys. I am a uh, huge fan. It's not a book signing, kid. We're here to play poker. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's kennel seat. Oh. Yeah, that's the rule. We lose a member. Nobody sits there for a year. Sorry. OK, next time I'm hitting on a guy you like, come clean with me before I go out with him so you don't have to arrest me to break up the date. Madison, that's not. No, 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 no. I get it. You're hot for Castle. You want to make little Castle babies. Why couldn't you just be honest? Daddy. What? He can hear us. Oh, really? Yeah. Brings behind the mirror? Yeah. Oh, I don't see me. Hey there. Sorry we missed the pumpkin gnocchi. They're really good. <laughs> I have to tweet about this. <laughs> Madison, put the phone down. Sit. Can't or won't. Do you think I'm blind? Bringing down someone as big as Berman, you'd be able to write your own ticket. The mayor's office, attorney general, everything you always dreamed of. But you need Codero's testimony. And if he was involved in anything dirty while acting as a witness, it'd have jeopardized your whole case. That's why you won't give us those tapes, because you're afraid of what we might find. Taking down a shark like Berman would send a signal to every fraudulent actor in the financial markets. I have to think about the greater good. Oh, is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? You could never play the game, could you? It's why you're stuck behind the desk instead of running the entire force down in one PP. I am not stuck anywhere. And I will never, never apologize for doing my job to the letter of the law. Now, I'm gonna need those wire recordings. Or do I have to go over your head? Anything that you find, you bring it to me first. Do you understand? I will not have you screw up another one of my investigations. Let's not put her on the list. Yeah. 